Our comedy fool guys, North Korea, had shocked the world by managing to lose only 2-1 to Brazil, even scoring a goal at one point. I thought they did a really, really good job on Brazil and looked pretty impressive. And I thought, you know, they could be the, they could be the dark horse in the tournament. But the Koreans had been using a secret weapon, developed in secret by Kim Jong-il. After the Brazil game, one of their head coaches then revealed that all the coaches had invisible mobile phone earpieces in their ears, invented by the Korean government, in order purely for Kim Jong-il to give instructions to them during the game. Maybe the phone had made the difference, maybe it didn't, but their brave performance against Brazil persuaded the hardline Korean government to actually broadcast their next game, the first time a football match would ever be shown live in North Korea. So they show the next game live where they happen to play Portugal, who are not as good as Brazil. You think, oh well, we might get a draw, might even beat them. At half time, it looked like a reasonable decision. Korea were 1 0 down and still in the game. But in the second half, it went horribly, horribly wrong. And 2-0! Almeida waits in the centre. Almeida! It's three! They got pounded. And Thiago with a shot. 4-0 Portugal. I bet they could not believe what they were seeing. Lietz on! And it's five! What did they think was going to happen? They were going to win the World Cup? Surely it's the sixth goal! We have a seventh goal! <laughs> Kim Jong-il was reportedly quite upset indeed, and the squad was subjected to a six-hour dressing down by government officials. I read in the newspapers that the uh, entire North Korean team had been sent to work on a building site by way of punishment, and all of the international community were appalled by that, other than the Polish team, who were like, lucky b****. <laughs> 